Representative Beatty, how do you explain to people what they saw on January 6th and what they're seeing tonight, uh, you being arrested within minutes of entering that vast lobby where you are harming no one? Well, thank you, Lawrence, for having me on. I think it's quite simple. What we see is the disparity of treatment. We see the disparities when it comes to Black Americans and majority uh, Americans. As you said, we were there protesting, uh, but the rules of engagement change or the responses to the rules of engagement are different. We were warned that there was a warning and that after three warnings, we would be subject to being arrested. Well, as you saw, we were in our movement, in our moment. We felt like John Lewis and Martin Luther King, when they organized and protested, it made a difference. And that's why we were there. But it is a difference. We saw and witnessed, I was there on January the 6th, and we know what happened then and what didn't happen. Another reason we need to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. That's the only way we can make a change. When we get more people registered to vote without voter suppression, that's why we have the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. You, as a member of the House, uh, have floor privileges in the United States Senate. You're one of the few people on the planet who's allowed to walk onto the Senate floor. Uh, you have the privilege uh, to move anywhere you want in those buildings. Uh, but apparently, uh, the, they don't want to hear your voice. They don't want to hear you raise your voice uh, in any way, no matter how pleasant that music actually sounded in the Hart Building today. Well, well, thank you. And you're absolutely right. And this is why we will continue, because it is our voices that will make a difference. And we know that it's been tried and proven and tested throughout history. We had the August 6, 1965 legislation passed because the president then, President Johnson, then met with Martin Luther King and we received the Voting Rights Act. So when you think of from what happened with Rosa Parks in the 50s to Montgomery. Montgomery led us to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, then to the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Look how many times John Lewis and Martin Luther King talked about crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge before they did it. We will keep coming back. We will have an open dialogue with the Congressional Black Caucus with civil rights leaders, and we're gonna invite the media in because here's what I know, Lawrence. When we use our voices and we speak up, and especially black women, we have become powerhouses. We deliver presidents of the United States. We have a strong voting base. We have a strong working base. And this is our time to make sure that we pass the Voting Rights Act. What is the next step for you? The next step is next Wednesday, the entire Congressional Black Caucus on Wednesday will have a meeting. Uh, we are planning an education and awareness session. You saw powerful women standing with me. Melanie Campbell. You saw Cleola Brown standing with me. Huge in the labor movement. Lots of women. You had Tamika Mallory standing there. All generations of women coming together because here's what we know. It's going to take all of us. And we were very reflective of America. 